At this moment, Tropical Storm Erica is wreaking havoc on Dominica, and several people are missing. Hi, everyone. I'm Meg Oliver. And I'm Elaine Quijano. Major flooding is impacting the small Caribbean island. At least 20 homes have been destroyed. Take a look at this new video we just got. Some devastating flooding there. The storm is clocking in winds of 50 miles per hour. It's moving toward Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And we want to go right now to Sabra Luke. She is in St. Joseph, Dominica. And I'm wondering, Sabra, first of all, how are things where you are there? Right now, there's just a lot of rain. We have lightning and thunderstorms, and it's been flooding in the village and in the nearby village, which is Layu. The main bridge is terribly affected by the river, and the roads have been broken, so the roads have actually been cut off. So those traveling from north to south can't cross through that road because it's terribly damaged. And we have a lot of flooding in St. Joseph and Layu, mainly. We're looking at some of the torrential rainfall and the, and the flooding there. Sabra, where are you exactly? Are you in a safe location? Yes, I'm safe. I'm home now. I am home in St. Joseph. And what's it like around your house? Around my house, we have a lot of water, so a lot of streams have developed because there's a lot of rain and not much drainage, so not too much damage, so we are fine where I am right now. Um, we are looking at a uh, video now of a house collapsing, it looks like, under the weight of some of this water and the torrential <laughs> flooding that is happening there. Tell me about uh, when this rain started moving in, when did you know how serious it was going to be? Well, I only knew from this morning, because when I woke, I woke at 3 a.m. and the rains were pretty strong. And it continued steady until around 8 this morning. So when I went outdoors and we went through the village, we saw that everywhere has been flooded. And about half an hour later, when we went to Layu, we realized that the roads have been cut off. So that's when we figured out it was really serious. Then when I got back home, I saw a few videos of the Berrien Christian Academy actually being damaged by the water. And Sabra, we have a picture that you took of a road that is completely just crumbled and washed away. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Were you on that road and you saw that? Yes, I was on that road. It had already happened by the time I got there, but while I was there snapping pictures, the right side of the road was being carried down by the river, so I had to retreat a bit and then finally go back home. And tell me about just some of your neighbors around the area. Are there authorities out trying to help people right now? What do you see in, your, in terms of other people? Well, other people are just trying to be cautious. On my way back home, we stopped at a nearby fire station. The fire station is in St. Joseph, Dominica. And we actually made a report about the roads because they were not aware about it. But then they told us they had to deal with a really big emergency in Makushri, which is north of St. Joseph. And the family there had been stranded and standing on the roof because their house was being carried down by the river. Oh, wow. Oh, well, we do know that Tropical Storm Erica is just shy of a hurricane category one. Did you have to board up your house or take any necessary precautions like that? 
I didn't have to. Um, our house is pretty strong, so we didn't have to. And I don't think many people were actually prepared for this because of all the warnings and watches for Danny and nothing happened. So people were kind of a little bit laid back for Erica and not thinking that anything serious would happen. Uh, we were just looking at a picture there a moment ago of the Dominica Airport. Um, I'm wondering, have you had a chance to talk to other people? Uh, obviously, you're talking on the phone with us, um, but has communication been cut off to your know, friends or relatives in other parts of the country that you've been able to, to try and, and get to? Actually, we can't actually reach people by phone. I'm talking to you because I'm calling from my Magic Jack number. So all I have right now is internet and cable. We don't have the regular telephone service. The both companies have been cut off, so I can't reach anyone via cellular. I could only use my Wi-Fi, and uh, that's basically it. So people are trying to reach their families here, people overseas, people in the U.S., in the U.K., trying to reach their families here in Dominica, and they can't get through because of the cellular service being cut off. And how about uh, the electrical power? Right now we still have electricity and water, the basic utilities. Um, it's just a cellular service that's off for now. But I do expect the water to be cut off sometime during the day because of all the rain. How scary has this been for you, Sabra? Um, it's not really scary for me, but after watching some of the videos, what's happening down in the south, and I'm pretty sure you could probably hear the thunder in my background right now, it's becoming a little bit scary seeing all the buildings just collapsing and all of the flooding happening in the city. Sabra, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Stay safe, and uh, we will be thinking of you. Thank you so much.